moment in the UK since October 2021, we've got 12 different genotypes of H5N1 circulating in um, wild birds in the UK that have come into poultry premises as well. Of those, four genotypes have been seen more recently and of, of those only two are actually that dominant within the, the samples that we've been able to test. But the frustration is that the picture that we have from a genotype perspective can never be complete because we're not picking up every dead wild bird, we're not testing every dead wild bird and so we're not getting genetic characterisation across the whole piece. So we're only seeing a snapshot of what the virus is doing in nature. In order to accommodate the host switch, some of those mutations that occur in the virus enable it to maybe better infect that mammal. But it's a small number, and at the moment, you would need a series of changes, and the virus would need to spread between mammals for it to change its risk profile for people. So we are being watchful, we are doing the surveillance here in the UK and around the world to track that and look very rapidly at whether any other changes are occurring. So at the moment, yes, the jump to mammals is a concern and there are some changes, but that's not sufficient to change the risk profile for humans. At the moment, the few cases that we have seen in humans have been largely quite benign and mild, and they've been as a result of people having direct contact with infected birds, and quite a lot of them. Uh, and then that's about the, the the personal hygiene and taking steps to, to reduce the risk of exposure. <laughs>